And the main thing is that they realise that they're not just going to be able to do it. And what needs to be done before coming over. I worked at the local supermarket and was a cleaner and whatnot when I first moved here. Um, you've just got to be willing to put in work. Um, the main thing is that they realise that they're not just going to step off the plane and step into a wonderful job. Like I said earlier, I was I worked at the local supermarket and was a cleaner and whatnot when I first moved here. Um, you've just got to be willing to put in work and just be patient and persevere. So if you do, you know, you more, more than likely will get a good job, but um, I guess there's this misconception that you're going to yeah, hop off the plane and get into a to a multi-million multi dollar job type of thing straight away. So just be patient um, and yeah, just just put in work and and um, if you've got any fun or, or friends over here that makes a big difference as well uh, for support from them. Um, yeah, so try and connect with any family or friends you have over here to, to give you a bit of a helping hand and yeah. If you do come over, you must have an ability to be able to communicate. Communication is vital for the growth of your own living. If you can't communicate, if you don't have a license, then you'll find it very difficult for the longevity of your stay. If you are coming over and you've got family here, that's awesome, tick that box. Um, but be aware that, you know, now it's harder. The jobs aren't as abundant, they are there. But if you've got certificates, you're one step up. If you can talk to people and believe in yourself, you, you will be able to survive it quite well. And I think because we're so shy, we tend to not go for it. Believe in yourself, go for it, and the rest will just happen. But you must try and connect yourself with other Māori, positive, and you'll be fine. Um, my little bit of advice is when you come here, or if you're going to go and live in any overseas place from home, um, don't expect it to be like home. It's not home. Uh, take it as you find it, like, you know, I'm not saying, oh, come here and become Aussie and act Aussie, you've definitely got to hold on to who you are, where you're from, that's what makes Māori people strong, is actually, we are connected to our culture and our people and we know where we're from, unlike a lot of other people, unfortunately for them, but I think it is, after living here for so very long and seeing it a lot, I think it is, um, it's possibly a little bit rude and a little bit disrespectful to come here and be always banging on about how everything back home in New Zealand is so much better. Um, well, you know, we know that, yes, the, a lot of it is much better back home, but you've come here to um, have a crack at a new life, so to speak. So, yeah, don't... Um, Definitely don't lose sight of who you are and where you're from, but remember that you've got to treat Australia as a land of opportunity and come here with an open mind. Um, yeah, and accept that things are different here. Not all things are different in a better way or definitely not all things are different in a bad way either, though. That's the, that's the thing, you know, I think. Don't come over and go, mm, gee... The weather here sucks, this here, that, it's no good because you've got to expect things are different. That's kind of like the price you pay for coming here and getting those bigger paychecks and, yeah, but just try to stay positive, I think. I do encourage all my whānau, all my friends, um, anyone who does come over here, do your homework first, make sure that you've got money when you come here first. Um, because you, you're going to go, if you're going to get jobs over here, and if, you're going to need all the different tickets, which you can't get back home. You've got to get them here, so 
and in order to get those tickets, you need to have that putia, uh, it's just not going to happen for you. And you're probably going to turn around and just go back home. You know, it's not just the mahi over here, it's the accommodation, you know. Um, it's not easy to get accommodation here. It's okay if you've got whānau and friends in there, but that can only last a short time. If you are serious about making the move, check out what needs to be done before coming over. Um, I'm not saying it's a mistake I made, it's just something that I was not aware of before I made the move. Um, and you can also go for your um, like tax file numbers and all of that online. So once you can get all your paperwork online done first, that's a big help. And also, it'll be much easier if you're able to come into um, a job straight away than having to have a wait and look online for homes to rent and things like that. It makes it so much easier. Yeah, and that's about all the advice that I can, yeah, that I can put out through my experiences. Do the groundwork first, people. <laughs> If you are prepared to roll your sleeves up, um, get stuck in, um, have a good attitude, um, tell me for the right reasons, have a goal in mind, um, tell me the putia, um, tell me the good attitude. Look, there isn't any reason why you can't make it in Australia. I came across in 1996, I've been here for 18 years, and I've been pretty successful based on what I've just done, I've said to you, those are the things that I've, you know, I've worked on and I've used to get me to where I am. Um, really, apart from that, it, uh, while you're along here, I mean, you can still enjoy the journey. You don't have to, it's not all mahi-mahi. Enjoy the journey along the way as well, and you'll find that uh, you'll get on really, really well. And you'll build yourself a network, whānau network, employment network. And if you do have a good record, um, there was plenty of work. Um, I've been out of work for uh, two or three occasions, uh, however, being in the military has taught me to uh, network, uh, be vigilant, diligent, uh, be punctual, uh, dress well, be courteous to people, and that's got me a long way throughout life, and to the point where it's given me um, the opportunities to work, and um, I can't remember the last time I put a CV in, uh, people ring me based on those morale, those morals that, that I've had, and, uh, you know, if you can come up with the same attitude, you know, I'm, I'm sure it'll work for you. So, if you're ever in Australia, please call us. I don't know whether I got a bird, I don't know whether my wife would allow that, but I can certainly give you some advice if you come across to West Australia. Uh, kia ora.